To start off, I do apologize for not uploading videos recently as I have been a bit busy. Anyways, today we will be covering Level 2, aka Pipe Dream. Without wasting much time, let's get right into the video. Level 2 has a survival difficulty of Class 2, it's unsafe, stable, and it has a low entity count. So, be wary of any hostile entities you may encounter. I've also mentioned in my previous videos where both Level 0 and 1 are the only levels where you can enter from reality. However, it has also been reported by 2-5% of Wanderers that their first introduction through the back rooms was from Level 2. Level 2 is a network of utility tunnels constructed out of concrete and sometimes brick. Lightweight metals and stone with rusty and malfunctioning pipes line the walls and ceilings. Some antique documents have shown this level as having one straight corridor. However, the number of corridors has mysteriously increased since the 19th century and a sudden boost in the 1980s. Currently, the level contains several corridors. The maximum width of these corridors can fit three individuals. The layout of these corridors will never intersect with each other. Wanderers will have to rely on smaller halls, often called vestibules, to get from one corridor to the next. The level architecture is uniform throughout most of this level, though the concentration of pipes will increase the further you go. Around 200 kilometers or 124 miles, Level 2 is an unnavigable void of pipelines going into random directions. Some penetrate through each other in an odd manner. This is often purposely done to keep wanderers away from traveling beyond that point. Fortunately, in the 200 kilometer radius, there are no reports of any entities. Unfortunately, the reasoning is that it is most likely due to the heat and extreme humidity. Unknown diseases, mutated bacteria, and viruses have been discovered within these networks, so it's either deal with unknown germs or deal with the entities. Tough choice. Supplies within the level are highly limited as well, despite the number of water pipes. What's strange is how no machinery or boiler rooms required for these pipes to function has been discovered. Rust bacteria and other pathogens has been discovered within the pipes that include almond water. So I wouldn't recommend drinking from these pipes or even getting close to these pipes. Several pipes also carry various substances, such as carpet fluid, which is highly acidic. Besides that, all communication devices such as radios or walkie-talkies malfunction on this level, and the cause is unknown. However, it's theorized that the possibly infinite concrete space may be the cause. Additionally, it's hard to test this at close range, as encounters with other human life haven't been confirmed. However, there are signs of human activities. The temperatures within this level vary in nature. A gush of cold wind can suddenly breeze in a warm area, causing the area to become colder. Snow can also form as well. However, it's unknown how the snow appeared in the first place. Besides that, the level's average temperature ranges from 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, or 68 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Whilst certain areas have temperatures around 60 degrees Celsius, or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Areas that have air vents often have colder temperatures compared to other areas that lack air vents. Entities such as Clumps, Smilers, Hounds, and Skin Stealers occupies the level. There is evidence that Facelings and Wretches have occupied the level in the past. Besides that, there are also biological pipes that reside in the level as well. Biological pipes are massive living pipes. The walls of these pipes produce digestive enzymes. It's often necessary to go through these pipes. Luckily, they don't often lead to death, as the process of digestion would only occur if the things they consume do not move after a few hours. Most of their diet comes from discarded pieces of food and other weird stuff, including junk such as plastic, glass, metal, and rubber. 
using their entryways can be an effective way to escape entities. However, entities avoid these pipeline yep. networks in fear of an uncertain detail. There are multiple entrances to enter level 2. The first one is from no clipping into level 2 from normal reality. Level 2 is the last level where you can enter from normal reality. Some other known entrances is no clipping from maintenance hallways in certain levels. A variety of factors within level 1 can fade into level 2. Entering vents on level 8 can sometimes lead to level 2. Removing manhole covers on level 11 and descending downwards Some methods to exit level 2 includes executing certain parts on the level that can lead to level 2's sublevels. Entering fire exits could lead you back to level 1, or forward you to level 3, 477, and 637. Entering a golden door marked with this symbol, certain hallways of level 2 possess a chance of leading to level 4 or 27, and many more exits. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do apologize for the delay. Any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye now.